how about those Cowboys? The Dallas Cowboys are not a lucky team. I repeat, they are not a lucky team. They are a great team in the NFL. I would have to give credit to the offensive line of this year uh, for taking care of the load and allowing Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott to be the best quarterback and running back duo in the NFL, especially allowing Ezekiel Elliott to find those holes and able to run first downs and able to make touchdowns for the team, for Dak Prescott to create more space and for him to throw the ball and give him more time to execute the offense and read the defense and able to find the uh, the targets of Des Bryant, uh, Jason Winton, also Cole Beasley. I give the offensive line for just basically carrying the load. Also the defense and basically how they play versus the Pittsburgh Steelers make them you know make the defense you know look garbage and look foolish, and basically just make the Pittsburgh Steelers you know look bad and make them have to rethink their whole plan. I like how they executed towards the end in the fourth quarter. They didn't bite their nails. They didn't say an accident is waiting to happen like Stephen A. would say. But they executed the plan and find ways for Ezekiel Elliott towards the end. Like the Red Sea just wild open for him to, you know, run towards the touchdown and able to seal the game for the Cowboys. So I have to give credit to the offensive line and also the defense and also Dead Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. Dead Prescott have like 14 touchdowns now with four rush touchdowns. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott has nine touchdowns total right now for the season. And they basically, you know, getting the job done as rookies. They don't care about Tony Romo or try to please Tony Romo or Des Bryant. They try to get the job done. And now that Tony Romo is going to be an official backup, Tony Romo is basically out the door. And here come Dead Prescott and those Cowboys because Ezekiel Elliott and Dead Prescott and the offensive line is getting the job done.